can I do is a question that constantly comes up in food discussions within and outside academia, um, which in the case of feeding the world is no easy matter because the ways in which we do food are always changing, um, and the problems are so numerous, entrenched, and, and deeply interconnected as well. We can't seriously address any of the long-standing and deeply entrenched problems surrounding the ways in which we do food in the U.S., and I think even perhaps globally, before we build an independent U.S. left, and ideally to creating, articulating, pursuing, and organizing around an anti-capitalist vision. There's something there about identity and tying it to kind of political action, because part of the problem is when it's just individualized and you know, it's everybody's own identity, of course, various people's own identities, you know, it's problematic. And the question is, how do you politicize that? And how does, you know, how, where, when, how do you get the analysis to come, you know, to come to bear on that passion? You know? There is um, a pervasive dualistic passion running through the food movement right now, mm -hmm. which is intent on dividing the world into good and evil. Yes. So increasing years, as we all know, uh, more and more attention has been paid to processes of food production, distribution, acquisition, and consumption that tend to operate apart from but within conventional food systems. And many advocates see the solution as tapping into alternative food networks, right, AFNs, food, uh, uh, farmers markets, co-ops, community-sponsored agriculture sites, and the like. Though the focus in these discussions most often tends to be on the food, I think it serves primarily as well to obscure the real culprits, structural inequalities, racism, and poor city planning among them. Huge discourses dictating to you what X, Y, and Z should be. I fit outside the norm. Perhaps. Now the discourse seems to have changed to something that has been put down upon us as right. Yeah. There's a real move within public health and nutrition to do uh, community assessments and to do what's called community-based participatory research, where prior to any type of design of an intervention, we would definitely do an assessment and also engaging the community in what the, what the intervention should be and what they want and what they see as culturally appropriate in many. There's also a real interest in thinking about um, sort of an ecologic framework and all of the different levels and trying to come up with ways of thinking about how people make decisions about food and um, looking at different judgments that people might make at different times. Obviously